Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business Podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. And together we are working to connect women in leadership and business, empowering each other, improving the health and wellness of our community, body, soul, and mind, connecting to the heart and soul of who we are and what we do. Happy Monday. It's Monday again. Yay. Happy to see you. I already um, had a couple cups of coffee, so I'm feeling a little jittery. So right now I'm just having warm lemon water, which we found helps with your digestive, especially when you drink it like throughout the day. It helps you not be so hungry. It helps with the bloat factor. Like it helps, like it's really good for you. There's like all sorts of stuff it does. There is. Yeah, it was really cool. cool. It was a really cool thing to, to, to be reminded of. I mean, mm-hmm. and to know that I wasn't just making it up when, you know, <laughs> you know that it was actually a good thing for us, right? We have some pretty cool stuff in store for you guys today. Yeah. Um, so let's start with, uh, well, I hope you had a happy holiday weekend. Absolutely. However you celebrated it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had a good weekend. Very full. Very of- full. I think there was only one argument all weekend, which yeah. is great. And it was just like a normal kid argument. Right. Was Our, nothing biggie. Yeah. No biggie no big at deal. all. But um, yeah, it went really great. Heather came over to my house on Saturday and had Thanksgiving with my family. And uh, both of us were with other family members for Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It was rad. Yeah. So it was really fun. The more really the merrier. Good. Right. Good conversations, good connections. Yeah. Yeah. Which is nice. It is nice. I didn't have to send any memes. <laughs> I sent memes to make people laugh early before I went to family. Uh-huh. Yeah. So one of the things that we use as kind of a tactic when we go have like family gatherings, because a lot of the time like that family trauma comes into play, is we'll set up like a, a chat um between us and maybe a couple girlfriends and who are also going through family no y'all get nervous we all get nervous right we do when we go we're going to go hang out with people we haven't hung out with in a very long time or it's been a long time you know last time we talked you know you don't know where people are at Mm -hmm. you don't know you know, they aren't reading the four agreements the way we are, right? right. Like there's all Their these things processes right? different. So you're just apprehensive. Right. So, you know, find a couple people to share the apprehension with in a positive way. Yeah. And the way we do that is by sending memes. Yeah. So, so you're not like funny memes when so-and-so is being time. snarky. You're not saying things like that. You're mm-hmm. making laughter uh-huh. and joy. And uh-huh. like this year, laughter and joy just so much more yeah and it was actually a really really chill holiday it was kind of nice agreed yeah okay agreed. so we have been talking about the four agreements and we are just about done and we're actually into the part with the meditation and prayers uh section so i that's what i read for the next couple of weeks the prayers of meditation are being read on our youtube channel and only our YouTube channel. So make sure you head over there and do the subscribe thing, hit the button, and um, check it out. And then you won't miss awesome. anything you if won't you're miss anything. subscribed. It's, it's pretty cool. awesome. Yeah. And you're so relaxing when, you know, it comes from being that history of being a yoga instructor yeah. and like mm-hmm. you just, you're very relaxing. So it's always nice when it's a meditation. Yes. You know. That's good feedback. Thank you. You're welcome. I like it. (laughs) Um, Okay. So as a reminder, the four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality their own dream when you are immune to the opinions and actions of others you won't be the victim of needless suffering don't make assumptions find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings sadness and drama with just this one agreement you can completely transform your life always do your best 
Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Oh. Boom. Well, the leadership mindset topic today, tool. Yep. Reliability. Goes right along with being impeccable with it your does. words. Yeah. I was like, that's pretty rad. Yeah. What the um, article says is about reliability is a strong leader is dependable and one that people can count on for fulfilling commitments and meeting deadlines. This is somebody who is being impeccable with their word. And then your team learns to trust you and then your team is more impeccable. Yes. It's like it, it trickles down or something. Yeah, because they want to model the behavior of their leaders. Right. And then if you, they're modeling and they want to emulate you instead of yeah, run so this, for the hills. There is a few things that good things that come out of domestication. One of those is this modeling behavior. We model those who are in higher positions than us, whether that is in a family unit, in a community, in a job, yeah, all those things. We try to model it after where we want to be, the direction we're going. Um, but we don't... Um, we don't want to get into... A place where we're not following the four agreements, right? Right. And right. so by being impeccable with our words. Because once you start practicing model. them, and that we're going to talk a little bit about what that transformation looks like today. Yeah. And but once you start practicing them, you start to understand how it flows in mm -hmm. your life, and then things start to shift. And it starts with an awareness even. So it's pretty cool when things it start is. to shift. It is really, really cool. It is really cool. So we're we're down for reliability, right? All right. And so then communication too, I think with the reliability. Because, okay. you know, sometimes you will say, oh, I'm going to do this thing. But if you don't communicate that something changed, mm -hmm. that's not good either. Right. So it's okay to say, oh, I take on too much. I'm so sorry. Yeah. This is going to, this take is the adjusted time or, is, or, you know, you know, communication. Yeah. yeah. Which is one of the tools too. Right. All right. So, um, in, ch um, chapter seven of the four agreements companion book, um, there is some dialogue with Don Miguel, um, where there's questions and answers. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and ask the questions and then I get to pre pretend to be Don Miguel. Yes. And read the answers. And then we're going to talk about it. Like, yeah. uh, okay. And because this is really cool stuff. I'm like, everyone, I'm like, oh, how do I not talk about one if I have the opportunity? How do we narrow it down? Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> The four agreements were created to assist you in the art of transformation, to help you break the limiting agreements, gain more personal power, and become stronger. So we're going to start with question. The first question is, you say that practicing the four agreements is the best way to make a transformation in your life. If you are using these tools and practicing the four agreements, what if something doesn't happen? Hmm. It's actually a really good question. Right. Uh, Don Miguel says, if you do it, it will happen. If you practice, it happens. It's like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Like you're setting the foundation. So no one, there's not anyone that can't t cause a change in their own life. Correct. Because you're going to feel better about yourself and those around you, it's just going to happen. Yeah. And you're going to create the type of change that you are manifesting in your life. So make sure you're manifesting that positive change because yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> because, <right? yeah. laughs> Cause yeah, it's part of the four agreements, right? Okay. Okay. Next question. <clears throat> if we follow the four agreements, what signs will show us we are changing. Ooh, this is a good one. I like that you're like, I'm going to grab some coffee. Yeah, I got to get a drink for that one. Mm. 
I mean, lemon water. You have lemon water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lemon coffee. Um, Don Miguel says, first, you will see changes in your personal life in the way you feel about yourself, including changes in the way you judge yourself. The way you carry your guilt, your shame, your anger, your jealousy, you can measure your progress by your own happiness. If you are happy, if you feel good about yourself, that means you have improved a lot. You can see progress when you are no longer afraid to say the truth. When you can say, I want this instead of that. Mm. Or when you no longer say, why even try? It will never work. I always lose. Of course, you will need mirrors to see yourself also. And the best kind of mirrors are the people who challenge you. An example, you have a problem with your boss at work and the situation may be the same as before, but now you see less drama in your reaction. You react mm -hmm. less to other people's point of view, to other people's poison. You are happy in your world, even with that boss. The challenges in life help you to the challenges in life help you to measure your progress if you don't have challenges how do you know if you are evolving it's the action reaction that makes the difference it's not about mentally saying i know that who cares if you know or don't know something what is more important is to take the action to be alive to be yourself dude dude so have you ever felt lonely in a room full of people yeah like you're screaming at the top of your lungs that nobody can hear you yeah yeah that feeling yeah it goes away it does Isn't that weird so cool so That's weird it so cool. <laughs> um, goes away like what <laughs> that the voice that negative voice that negative nancy that lives in my head has she's got a gag in her mouth now she can't like the way I <laughs> perceive myself and my body and you know who I am it has changed dramatically over the last like year and a half two years yes and right I know it has for you I watched you grow right <laughs> yeah uh, it's huge uh-huh yeah Huge. like I feel sense. like these are like the core things and then it's really cool um watching the, the trickle effect because then we're not reacting or picking up other people's things mm -hmm. so we're allowing them time to process mm -hmm. on their own and yeah. like their growth too then yeah because we're not picking it up and then it you know right it's really exciting. We're not picking up anybody else's trash. It's yeah. awesome. Psh, you can have that. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I could pick you that up and give it back. That's pretty cool. Okay, it is let's pretty do, cool. Let's do one more. All right. When I first read the four agreements, I was so excited about using these principles in my life. I really, really was. Um, but now I look around and I see people around me living in their own hell, and it's discouraging. How do I keep my enthusiasm when I'm surrounded by so many people who are in the old dream? Ooh. You feel like this one's talking to you a little bit? Um, I, I feel this one. Like, yeah. You feel it around you, like people hanging out, like, and they're just. Yeah. Or somebody from your past life has contacted you we're just like getting attacked by everything today oh my God, do I have a hair in my face? <laughs> you did oh, like you it was like thing. she was like you got a thing <laughs> um we love each other uh, we're not gonna let each other go out with a lipstick on her teeth so oh. oh okay so this is what don miguel says all right if you know the four agreements by now you know that you don't have to take it personally the way other people dream you don't know that their dream has nothing to do with you but if you really want to help other people, you can share the four agreements with them. If they know your personal mythology and if they agree with you, very soon you can share that awareness and have agreements to support one another. But if they don't have the awareness, they will never will try to change. And it's not up to you to try to change them. I think that's the piece right there. Yeah. When you realize that it's no longer your responsibility to change them. Right. 
Yeah. Because you can clearly see that it's their trauma. And that's on them. And the, you don't have to pick it up. Right. Because now things are clear. Right. right. And then the other piece of that is the sharing these four agreements with the people around you. Which oh, is why we are I can never keep a copy of the four agreements. No. No. I immediately give it to somebody. Like, right. sorry. <laughs> we have to be really good at uh when we go thrift shopping, we look in the in the book racks because sometimes sometimes we can find a copy, which is great because we gift them yeah. to other people and yeah. in our lives who, you know, are looking for it was one of the top gifts for graduating students last year. Yeah pretty incredible which is one of the reasons why we got the good deal on all the books uh -huh. because <laughs> and we discovered all the rest of the books right yeah. <laughs> we were like "Ooh, there's more I think I got the box set with um the mastery of love and what's the other one um the mastery, of, mastery knowledge. of knowledge um uh, it was a three and book this. set um and then I bought these separately oh you bought these separately but I got them all um, the black Friday last year I think when I bought the sets because they were on sale so oh go check, maybe go we check. should go we look <laughs> um, that's fabulous yeah um I think what do you think is your biggest personal victory from doing the four agreements I like myself I like who I am because I'm not trying to pretend to be something I'm not anymore. It's so awesome. It is. I'm comfortable with who I am. Yeah. I'm comfortable with who I am. Uh -huh. When you say that out loud, how does that feel? Because I want to like cry because yeah. I didn't used to like myself at I all. I used to like myself. <laughs> at all you know when I look in the mirror now I see me and you know I don't see the flaws quote unquote that I used to see right all those labels the judgment it's it was like okay imagine all these judgments you put on yourself as like sticky notes mm -hmm. you're looking in that mirror and every every single sticky every note single has sticky something note. that that is like negative right right because that's how we judge ourselves yeah and you're hey, by <laughs> following just... the four agreements you're peeling off those sticky notes one at a time and then you can actually see yourself that's so the funny. way you're meant to see yourself. And then what what does that thing um the only the only person it's not okay to disappoint is yourself. Yes. So when we're being honest and true to ourselves. When we're being impeccable with our word, and that includes to ourselves. It's a game changer, you guys. Yeah. Absolute game changer. Life changer. changer. For sure. So yeah. we look forward to reading a few more of these questions with you guys over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting ready for the holidays too. So yeah, we got those checklists cool. out. Do you have your business checklist of all the things you need to do? Yeah. Before the holidays. The first of December is in a couple of days and you know that there's only 30 days left of the year you have holidays coming up what do you need to get done so that you can enjoy that time with your family we you talked about that last week <laughs> yeah go back and listen if you didn't get a chance it yeah. didn't talk too long no nope. <laughs> sometimes right. we do you know that um susan and greta oh my gosh huge update huge yeah. huge huge update they hit their goal they did and next week is Sue's birthday? And so on Sue's birthday, we would like to ask that everyone try to donate um, just twenty one ninety five. Yeah, which is just... one penny for each mile on the Appalachian Trail. And they are so doomed. close. They are so close. They're oh due gosh. to finish. Like, any, I think they any will only have a couple hundred miles left. Yeah. And they've been I going think they like got 1,700 miles, so. miles. Yeah. 
uh, was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think I have less than two weeks left on the trail, but we will continue supporting AT for PD through the end of the year as our cause of the quarter. Heck yeah. Um, I can't wait to get them back off trail and so we can talk to them. Oh, I'm so excited. Right? <laughs> so excited. So stay um, tuned. To a little message. Them. I'll make sure you know about AT for PD. Coming up love next. You. Love you. Namaste. Namaste. Ah. <laughs> so we are uh, Sue and Greta, or our trail names are Lilo <laughs> and Stitch. And we are hiking the whole Appalachian Trail from Maine. Thank you for joining us today on the Women in Leadership Body, Soul, Mind, and Business podcast. Please download the podcast on your favorite podcast player. We love you, and we will see you next time. Namaste. And we are doing it all in honor of my dad, her husband, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease back in 2010. So mm. and we all know so many people yeah. who are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and we are trying to do our small part in the world of Parkinson's disease to find a cure.